Hi, my name is Vance Powell. I'm a recording engineer here in Nashville, Tennessee. And um, I'm very happy to say that someone's building a microphone, uh, luckily in my hometown, uh, that I really like. Uh, this is the new CV3 from Mic Tech. It's um, probably one of the best new microphones I've heard. Uh, I'm not a new microphone fan. Matter of fact, uh, I don't even own any new microphones. Uh, I think the newest microphone I might have is a KM84, and it's an old one that has the crazy Tushel connector, so it's pretty old. Um, and a couple of new ribbons, uh, that is a fact. But for a condenser mic, this is the first one, uh, tube condenser, that I can say uh, kind of stands up to the scrutiny of, of, you know, like tone and quality of build. Um, that I've seen in a long time. It's a very, very, very nice microphone. Um, it, it's actually nice enough that I, I really need another one. Hand to hand. Um, but, um, I, you know, uh, everything I've used it on so far, I've been uh, just, you know, most impressed by how, how natural and, and real it sounds. And that's really what we want for microphones. We, we want microphones to sound very natural and, and to make it sound real because we're really doing something that uh, defies real explanation. We're trying to record something and uh, make it sound like something that we believe it is. Um, you know, try, try to record a piano, it's, it's a tough one. And then sit down and play it, it's totally different. Uh, whatever, just take all that out. Um, so, that being said, um, I'm very happy to say that this is one of my favorite new microphones uh, that I've used, the MicTech CV3. Uh, I'm David Kalmuski at, at uh, my studio, Addiction Sound Studios, here in Nashville, Tennessee. And I've got a pretty extensive mic collection here, and, and uh, I'm able to shoot stuff out on a pretty regular basis. Um, I just recently picked up uh, a MicTech CV3 and tried it on acoustic guitar and vocals and was pleased with the results to the point where uh, we used it, you know, we're using it on the project and, and uh, I like the proximity effect. Uh, I think it sounds natural. I think that any um, typical top end boost from a tube mic condenser uh, isn't harsh, it's, it's very smooth and, 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 it's, and it, it excites the sound of the source in, in a very natural way. Um, and both sources that I recorded with this microphone uh, I've easily been able to fit into a mix. I've added the CV3 to uh, my collection of microphones that I want to hear on a regular basis. Uh, it's in, and it's in some, some pretty impressive competition uh, in it with our mic locker here. Um, I'll be checking it on a regular basis uh, the way I do the CV4 with vocals. Hey, I'm Glenn Rosenstein. I'm a producer, I'm an engineer, and debatably a mixer. And um, I'm very, very, a very happy client of Mike Tech microphones. About six months ago or so, I get a phone call from Mike. Mike calls me up and says to me, I've got this mic you need to check out, it's CV3. And uh, he brings us over to my studio and sure enough, put it up, loved it, early, early iteration of the microphone. I'm like, Mike, I'm not giving it back. You're gonna have to sue me. And to this day, I have not given it back. It is by far one of the best microphones I've ever used. Uh, I love the way it sounds. I love the smoothness of it. And it is competitive with virtually any microphone that's in my mic locker. I've got Sony C800Gs, I've got all the great classic mics that are around, but um, Mike, I'm sorry, bro, you're going to have to come after me and get this one out of my dirty, grubby hands. Well, hey, my name is Randy Kors. I'm here to talk uh, about Mic Tech microphones today. Uh, I've been using these mics for a little over three years now, and uh, uh, They've just come out with a new CV3, which I think should be considered their flagship. I think it's their best sounding mic in, in the bunch. Um, I, like I said, I've been using their microphones for three, almost three and a half years now. And uh, after hearing this, uh, right, right before the NAMM show, they had the final pr uh, prototype and I was able to really hear it and, and hear it on my own voice. And I played some acoustic guitar and just 
was able to listen to it through the whole spectrum of, of their microphones, and I really consider this thing their, their new flagship. I don't think they're charging as much as they should for these microphones. They are absolutely world class. Hi, I'm Bill Vorndick. And I'm Bruce Dees. And we just finished uh, producing an album on Lynn Anderson. And I think this is the first time the CV3 is, was used on an artist. And when you're working with an artist by the name of Lynn Anderson, you have to be pretty careful. Right. She's, she's demanding. And she knows what she's doing. And she knows what she likes. Yeah. And she liked her on this. Um, incredible microphone. Um, and it has a pad on it and a high pass filter. And it's the closest thing that I know of, of my vintage tube microphones, some of my favorite microphones that we had tried out, and this one. Yeah, it's, it sounds terrific. And uh, the wonderful thing about the mic is uh, you put, uh, we put Lynn in front of it, push the fader up, push go, that was it. Just sounded terrific right out of the chute. <laughs> oh, it was a win-win. Yeah. And absolutely. when you see an artist smile and say that they can actually hear themselves, maybe for the first time, that's, that's pretty important. We did, uh, I sang on a few things uh, on Lynn's album with a couple of other singers that I've been working with for a number of years. And one of them, I've, uh, literally decades, as Bill said a while ago, but uh, one of them mentioned for the first time in my memory uh, that she actually asked what kind of microphone we were singing on. We were singing on one of the mic techs. And uh, that's pretty amazing. Thank you.